But if we look at the real worst case uh, analysis here is one day, you're pretty young now, but that's not gonna last very long. You're gonna die one day. Is that something you think about? Little bit. Are you afraid of death? Well, I'm of the mindset of, let's make that a productivity hack. <laughs> I'm of the mindset of, um, <laughs> we need to confront that soon. Yeah. So let's do what we can now so that when we really confront and think about it, we're, we're more likely to feel better about it. So in other words, like let's, let's focus now on living and doing things in such a way that it, we're proud of so that when it really comes time to confront that, we're more likely to say like, okay, I feel kind of good about the situation. So what, uh, when you're laying on your deathbed, would you, in looking back, what would make you think like, oh, I did a, I did okay. I'm proud of that. Yeah. I optimized the hell out of that. That's a good, I mean, it's a good question to, to, to go backwards on. I mean, this, this is like David Brooks's uh, eulogy, virtues versus resume virtues, right? So his, his argument is that, uh, and that's another interesting DC area person. I keep thinking of, of interesting DC area people. All right, David Brooks is here too. <laughs> yeah. Um, you, he, his argument, he thinks eulogy virtues is, uh, so what we eulogize is different than what we promote on the resume. Uh, that's his whole thing now, right? His second mountain wrote the character, both these books are, he has this whole premise of there's like this professional phase and there's a phase of, of, uh, giving of yourself and sacrificing on behalf of other people. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe it's all mixed together, right? You want to, I think living by a code is important, right? I mean, uh, this is something that's not emphasized enough. I always think of advice that my undergrad should be given that, that they're not given, especially at a place like Georgetown that has this like deep history of you know, trying to promote human flourishing because of the Jesuit connection. Yeah. Uh, there's such there's such a resiliency and pride that comes out of living well, even when it's hard, like living according to a code, living accord to which, which you know, I think religion used to structure this for people. Uh, but in its absence, you need some sort of replacement. But this, uh, even when things were, soldiers get this a lot, right? The experience is a lot. Even when things were tough, I was able to persist in living in this way that I knew was right, even though it wasn't the easiest thing to do in the moment. Like fewer things give humans more resilience. It's like having done that, your relationships were strong, right? Many people coming to your funeral is a standard. Like a lot of people are going to come to your funeral. Like, I mean, you matter to a lot of people. Yeah. And then maybe having done to to the extent of whatever capabilities you are happen to be granted, you know, and they're different for different people. And some people can sprint real fast and some people can do math problems. Uh, it tried to actually do something of impact. I'll just uh, promise to give gift cards to anybody who shows up to the funeral. <laughs> You're going to hack it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to hack gonna, even the funeral. There's going to be a lottery wheel you spin when you come in and someone <laughs> goes away with $10,000.